Welcome to the Sustainable Barbados Recycling Center. This is a view of the transfer station as seen from the roadside. Of the waste that comes to SBRC, 30% is municipal solid waste, therefore household and mixed waste. Other waste is broadly categorized as green waste, construction and demolition waste, and rock and soil. While mis municipal waste makes up only a portion of the waste delivered, it poses some of the greatest difficulties for recycling and disposal because it's so contaminated. The mixed components produce a range of potential environmental and health challenges. As a result, SBRC fully supports efforts by Future Centre Trust, the government and others to seek ways to have partial separation of the municipal waste before it is delivered to SBRC. This offers a greatly enhanced ability to sort and recover a higher portion of the municipal waste. When a SSA truck comes to the transfer station, it is first weighed at the weigh bridge. The truck proceeds to the transfer station and sorting area. The transfer station is designed to receive waste from collection trucks, where it is first processed and then placed into larger trucks for transportation to the sanitary landfill. Currently, most of the municipal waste is dirty and is pushed by heavy equipment to the area below for collection by SBRC trucks. However, cardboard is recovered, which is hand-picked, further baled, and then shipped to a recycling paper mill. These trucks then transfer dirty waste to the mangrove landfill. During the transferring process, there is some sorting of the waste so that easily accessed and clean objects can be removed for recycling. This includes pallets, coconut shells, and green waste. Mulch is one of the products recycled here. By having fewer larger trucks delivered to the sanitary landfill, the management of the landfill operation is greatly enhanced and the wear and tear of the collection vehicles is reduced. Waste from construction and demolition sites is collected and processed by first screening the material to remove fines. It is then passed along a slow moving conveyor belt where a material recovery specialist remove a selection of recyclable materials including plastic, metal, wood and rocks. Metal which has been removed from the mixed waste is stockpiled and instead of being sent to the metal landfill at Bagatelle, it is further sorted into non-ferrous metal and thin sheet metal for transporting to local recyclers. Municipal solid waste is presently collected as a mixture of food waste, sanitary waste and other household waste. These three groups of waste when delivered mix are very difficult to sort and convert to a clean recyclable product. The idea of single stream or single sort recyclable waste depends on the generator of the waste, the householder, and keeping the food and sanitary waste separate from the other household recyclable materials. It is this recyclable waste which we at SBRC can then work with because it is clean. For example, empty food cans need to be washed before it's placed into the recyclable container. This involvement by the community has been proven to work in North America and Europe and we are confident it will be readily embraced by Barbadians who more than continental residents are aware of the fragile environmental limits of their island home. This initiative by the Travel Foundation will indeed increase our recovery rate here at SBRC and the diversion rate from the landfill, which is our main focus here at SBRC. We fully support the efforts of all parties involved on this program and is certain this will prove to be a social benefit for us all.